do hope you're doing well. So, if you haven't seen the grand unveiling of getting everything out of the cupboard under the stairs, stop this video and I'll leave it up there down below. You need to see everything coming out just so that you can get the magnitude of the hauls that are going to come your way, my lovelies. They're not going to be hauls in essence of me buying stuff because I've already bought the said items and it will just be to go through as i say we're doing an essentials for moving out on a budget even though i'm not moving out for probably a good year year and a half maybe two i for probably the past 18 months two years have been picking up bits and bobs in the sale on a bargain that i think you know what can go away for that bottom drawer but my bottom drawer has turned into a whole cupboard under the stairs. And when I got everything out and I saw how much there was, I was a bit like, oh. Don't quite know how it's all going to go back in there. And I may have to use Dada's spare room for storage. But at least when I move, I haven't got to have the worry of getting all the little finicky bits, you know. The way I've tried to do it is to get all of the necessary bits and bobs that you'll need. Some people may think that some of my things are not essential, but hey ho each to their own this is just mine but i've tried to keep like the basis of things that you will need so as i say there's going to be about a five or a six part series and we're going to cover bathroom that is today's video kitchen is going to be two videos my lovelies because when you saw that video you knew kitchen was going to be like the one to take over didn't you so we're going to have two kitchen we're going to have a home decor an outdoor living and also a cleaning supplies because yes your girl's got a whole bag of sponges and cleaning supplies perfect for that utility room that i'm like conjuring up in my head so let's stop rabbiting because we're going to get in on these series please don't look at the bags and think oh my god that means it's going to be like full of that shop so for example today we have two huge asda bags some of the things could be from asda or the majority of it won't be but i haven't got any boxes and the boxes that i wanted from b&q that we have the christmas storage in are actually sold out so when everything come out and i didn't have boxes to get I've had to use bags, so you're going to see some range bags, of course B&M, home bargains, you know the drill. I am just using bags upon bags of storage at the moment. So yes, Shannon, let's stop rabbiting and get in with our essentials for moving out on a budget bathroom edition. <laughs> so I'm going to flip between the two bags because obviously the main essential thing for a bathroom when you move out, towels. Well, that is to me anyway. And I have got a little carried away with the towels. I'm not going to lie. What I've done after I got everything out, I've done like an inventory of what I've got. And then done a list of bits that I do need. So, the first thing, let's go with this one. So, all of my towel bundles are from Tesco. I got majority of them in the sale. So, Tesco every month will have... Am I going to sneeze? No, it passed. Um, Tesco every month seem to like swap their colors around so one month you might get blue on offer then you might get pink on offer i think currently it's yellow and gray on offer so i always keep a look at because towels the only ones that i want to keep i say nice like i do want a really nice set of white and black bath towels and that i want the full set for so i want the hand towel, the bath towel, and the bath sheet. So all of my towel bundles that I've got now, I've bought two hand and two bath. But as I say, with me black and white, I want a bit more of like a luxury one. So I want like that nice, big, thick white towel and a black towel to match his and hers, you know. Probably I would go more for the black because I'm probably going to have like hair dye and stuff like that. So Brandon will probably end up having the white. But this, I've bought everything in pairs except this one. So as I say, I have got one two one two so i've got two bath and two hand towels and as i say they're literally just the tesco normal they're not like tesco finest they do ones which are like a bit more plusher and a bit more is it egyptian cotton these are just your bog standard ones and i think when they're on offer a bath towel is 250 and a hand towel is 150 so four quid so eight pound for a set and this one is like kind of a turquoise aqua blue so what i need to get to pair this is either a dark blue for b or maybe like a very very light baby blue and this could be the dark version in essence but yeah i have got one two three sets already once i get the matching one to this and then as i say i'll have my black and my white and don't shout at me last time i went primark i saw they've started to bring out like that autumn colors 
they had the most lovely cobalt blue and emerald green and mustard towels. I mean, I don't want to have to get seasonal with my towels, but I think when I move out, I might have to. Because I mean, one, two, three, this ain't going to do us, is it, for a year? And then I could get some nice red ones for Christmas. We're not going to get carried away because I haven't got the room to buy any more. But on my list, I have got that I need the matching set for that. So as I say, four pound a set. I think on offer, I think on normal price, they're about, is it three pound for a hand and maybe four or four fifty for a bath towel? So as I say, the majority of this I always pick up in the sale or if it's a bargain price or if I just see it and I like it. It's very rare that I'll buy something full price if it's a bit expensive because I always think I'll wait for that to go down. And as I say, the towels, they have gone down slowly but gradually they have gone down. So these to people might not be like essentials, but to me, I just think they're little decor pieces. So if you remember bah, 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 many moons ago, I done an order with cherries and I picked up these little door signs which I think are absolutely fabulous. I've got one for toilet, I've got one for bathroom and I've got one for kitchen as well. And you know these, they was one pound and they may not be essentials to people but to me for a quid it's just like a little decoration. So as I say I have got quite a bit of bathroom decor and there is still quite a bit that I haven't yet got because I think the bits that I haven't got, I'll run through at the end. But I can only get them when I'm in there to, like, see the style and that. But, yes, as I say, I absolutely love little bits like this. It's just quirky. If you don't want to hang it on the door, you could put it on the door handle. You could stand it up on your windowsill. There's no harm with, like, a little bit of zhuzh, let's just say. And then another thing. I think these were from Cherries. Or these might have been from Poundland, actually. Your home. I think these could have been Poundland, if you remember many, many moons ago when I picked these up. But it is a set of three. They're pumice stones, but they're not pumice stones as if for your body. They're decorative stones. They are a bit chalky, so I am going to be very careful letting these out. Ah! So we've got two there. One says wash and one says brush. And then the bigger one says, what do you say? Flush. So I think these are so cute just to put on maybe like a bath rack or if you didn't want it so that you could see the writing, you could just have them as a lovely little heart stack. And I think like these were a quid. They are your home. I'm sure that's Poundland. A pound. Like I'm not glitzing it up. Well, I have got something very glitzy in it that you, if you remember, you remember. But it's just like little things. And the main thing that I'm excited to get, but I can't get until we're in, is a really nice bath board. I want one of them bath balls where I can put my wine glass in. It's got a rack for me book on my iPad. I've got my little candle bit. Absolutely love it. Because at the minute, as you know, in our bathroom, we've just got one of them little extendable metal ones. But my dream, I want like a freestanding bath because I'm just obsessed with them things. Every log cabin we go to, even a hotel abroad, I am that person that will have a bath abroad. And if I can get a freestanding or a separate one or a jacuzzi style one, that is what I want. I... I do love my baths because I have a bath every night. And especially on a weekend when you have a bath, you want to treat yourself and just relax. Why not have a bath board where I can put me drink, me candle, me book and me iPad and just love life, eh? Absolutely love life. But anyway, enough of that, Shan. I am rambling. Let's have a look. Should we go into... What's that? Oh, no, that's with that. Oh, another little sign here. There we go. I picked this up from Next. It was £4. And what I'll do, if all of these bits are still available, as I say, Tesco's, I can't put Tesco's online because I don't think they sell them online. But all of, like, the little accessories and bits and bobs, or even the places that I get bits, I will try and leave it all down below if still in stock for you, my lovelies. This, again, is more a sign for the bathroom. So we had the toilet roll sign. This is the bathroom. Relax, unwind, and wash all your worries away. Four pound, and as you know, I do love a bit of next. I have been venturing in there lately, and all I can say is I'm looking forward to the autumn content. That is when I get obsessed. Like next home since TK Maxx, those are the months from September. But I have heard through the grapevine that home sense are getting in that autumn bits already. So is it that I'm gonna have to take a little trip and just put the stuff by? Yes, that is the plan, but I need to clear the hallway first because I can't be coming in with bags and bags of pumpkins when there's not a room in the house to even swing a pumpkin. So yes, that will all be coming for the autumn content, my lovelies. But 
So let's have a look. What should we go for? Oh, I don't know what all these are in here. Let's have a look. Oh, here we go. And then this is the other one, the bathroom rules. As I say, this was from Cherry's £1. Your little bathroom rules plaque. So we've got matching and you will see in the kitchen one with a part one part two whichever one i put it in that you will have a sign for that as well let's go into some more towels shall we so i got these are going to be the summer towels that's what i'm thinking anyway so i picked these up a couple of months ago but they have now put these back on with the greys in my local tesco once again 250 for a bath towel and 150 for the hand towel you know I love yellow. You know I love yellow. So, of course, I've got to get a Sunshine Yellow pack. And you know what? For Tesco's, like, own brand, they're not too bad. I mean, they're not the best quality. As I say, I just want me black and whites for the best quality. But they'll do. And as I say, four quid for a set. If I have to replace them once a year or they get a bit threadbare and I have to top one or two up, it's not going to break the bank. But, yeah, always look out for budget stuff, my lovelies. Um, Asda apparently is really good. I don't really tend to see much sales on in Asda for homeware. My Tesco has always got a big sale rack, like, and it'll have um, storage baskets normally. Then they'll have towels and they might have, like, some water bottles, all of that jazz. But, yes, so these would be for Brandon. He can have the lovely sunshine yellow. Because, you know, we all need a little bit of sunshine in our lives. And then, you know me, I had to get pink. So, when Tesco do offers, they either have them singularly on the shelves like these. Or they would already have them pre-wrapped in like a towel bale, as they call them. So, these ones are the four-piece extra soft, they call them, bale. And it is two hand towels and two bath towels. But you just get them already wrapped. So, I think... When they do them singularly, it's because they're coming like to the end of the line and they're just trying to get rid of the odd stock. Whereas I think when they do the bales on offer, I think the bales that might work out a bit cheaper. I think a bale, so if that was eight, I think a bale was six pounds when I picked these up. So if you can get them wrapped up and they are a bit cheaper, I mean, hey ho, why not? But yes, I had to get myself a pink pair. So I will have pink and B will have the yellow. And then let's say we've got the aqua green. And then if I can either get like a darker green or a lighter blue, that will be the combo for that one. Let's take a little break, my lovelies, because I'm getting surrounded by towel bowels here. And there's not a lot of room on this bed. <laughs> so another little decor piece that you may remember if you see the halls. And again, people may say these are not essential whatsoever. But something like this, oh, it can be classed as bathroom decor because that is where I will be putting these. But they could just be general home decor as well, my lovelies. It's whatever floats your boat. So I picked these up from Next and I'm pretty sure you can still get them. So if you can, I'll leave them down below. And it is my pair of sparkly, crystally duck tea light holders. Should we get them out? Ooh, oh my god, they're heavier than I remember. Don't shout at me. You remember these from the haul, my lovelies. Just look. I say they are tea light holders, but how fabulous. So I've kind of gone with a duck and Buddha theme for the bathroom, I think. Whether B's going to like that, I don't quite know. But I'm hoping we're going to have like a bathroom each or at least a main bathroom and an ensuite. So my main bathroom, oh, I thought I dented it there, is going to be very sparkly, I think. I want it very light. Sparkly but minimal, which you're probably thinking Shannon and minimal does not go in the same sentence. I do kind of want the bathroom to be minimal. Like I still want all my shower gels, everything like that. But I want like big mirrored units where I can just shut the doors and you don't see them. But then I can open them and I've got like a whole inventory of Imperial Leather, Body Shop, Lush and a little bit of Snow Fairy too. But hey ho, I do want very statement pieces in a way. So very simple accessories but then all my little like pops of colour and like me pops of sparkle. So yes, the ducks as I say may not be a necessity for everyone but everyone has different themes. So it may be that you have a theme. I do really like the nautical theme. 
but I just don't know how to pull it off and I don't know if I'd be able to pull it off right. So you know like all the uh, anchors and raw irons and ropes, I love all of that vibe. Like a proper sea house reminds me of somewhere like say down in Cornwall or Devon on the coast. But I don't think I'd be able to pull it off and I think you have to have a certain type of home for something like that. Like I'm thinking maybe a cottage or like an actual place by the sea. I don't think I could see that in the countryside maybe. Sorry, my hay fever's been really bad this weekend, so apologies for the sniffling throughout the video, but yes, I do love that thing. I do also love the tropical vibe. You will see in the log cabin video, which I think will be going up the weekend after you see this. That was phenomenal. It was all like tropical and gold and navy and very dark. Not something that I would ever think of, but when you see it like actually in person and it done, it looked absolutely lovely. So yeah, I mean, I would love about five bathrooms in my house, let's be perfectly honest, but maybe two, I could get a push. Fingers crossed if we get a home, however it goes. But yes, yeah, so I just like to plan in advance. And I think no matter how old I get, I'm never gonna fall out of love with a pair of little sparkly rubber duckies, am I? No, I don't think I am, my lovelies. And then, what else have we got? Right. Ah! Oh my goodness, this all stuck. So we've got two bits in here. And leave me a comment down below before I open it if you think you know what I'm going to show you. I'm waiting. If you saw the next haul, these once again were from Next. And I had a little bit of a shock when I saw the sizes of these two things because I weren't expecting them to be that size at all so the first thing i picked up and again people might think this isn't an essential for a bathroom which it may not be but as i say i wanted very like statementy little pieces i picked this up from next and it was a buddha ring holder so this is six pound canon there we go so it's a lovely little ring holder and as you can see it's quite dinky all right but again, if you don't want to have this in a bathroom, you could have this on your dressing table, on your bedside table. It was just a lovely little piece. And Buddha's is something that I never really used to pay attention to, to be perfectly honest. But I've slowly fallen back in love with them. So, yes, I saw this and I was like, when I unboxed it, I think I was a bit, oh, it's a bit smaller than what I thought. But hey-ho. Now, the matching piece. So, as I say, I've got my little jewellery holder so that when I get in the bath I can take my ring and earrings off and know that they're on there because the amount of times I take my ring off before a bath my lovelies put it down and then I'll come out and I have a mind blank as to where it is and I will never leave it in the most simplest of places to find so yes just having like a little trinket dish I think is fabulous even if I had this on my bedside table as I say these pieces if you think well I don't really want Buddhas in a bathroom that's completely fine you can have it if you like Buddhas around your home but this is just the vibe I'm going for, all right? And then you will know from this next piece that I bought to go alongside this. When I opened the box, I was a bit like, um, slightly larger than what I thought because I didn't read the measurements. But my love is this was £12. Like, I think that is huge for £12. And it is a Buddha tea light holder. And again, it's all sparkly. So my vibe was to have these next to each other. So like maybe on the corner of the bath or something, just having the little guys like that. And this was a lot larger. I thought this was going to be more this size and this may be half of this size. So yeah, had a very big shock. I think again, you can still get this. So I will link it all down below. But I think now looking at this, if I didn't go for a Buddha theme in the bathroom, look at me already changing my mind on the themes. I'm thinking, what else can I buy? More rubber duckies, maybe? Um, <laughs> I think this could look lovely in a hallway, like on a console table. And you could put that there. Because it could be, I wouldn't say like a keychain, but uh, you could maybe put it there if you want to come in and chuck your ring off or whatever. Just have it as a decorative piece, you know. You could have some essential oils in that. Oh, that would be nice. But yes, they are my little Buddhas, my lovelies. And as I say, if you saw the haul, you will know that as soon as I saw them, I was like, um, maybe this is why I should read the measurements. And all I do as well, so packaging wise, I try and keep as much stuff in the packaging 
as I can without it so like taking up too much room because they are delicate pieces so obviously I don't want to like ruin them and that especially like with the ducks because they're all crystalled and everything so yes but some of the stuff I have condensed down because as I say I don't need packaging for absolutely everything you know and then the last few things that I've got are more towels again we've got the towel super soft bale so you might think when I get them out you've got two of the same thing I haven't I haven't so oh get out of the bag I've got a light gray and a dark gray. oh that's fine when you look at me in person you really can't tell but I thought that's not going to show on camera it is so we've got a light gray and a dark gray so once again these are kind of like my essentials in a way so we've got the summer colors which are pink and yellow I don't really know what that blue could be maybe like a spring if I get another blue with it and then autumn I want to get like a dark blue and a dark green maybe and then Christmas it's got to be red only or maybe red and green for Christmas and then blue and orange for autumn oh <gasps> or an orange and a rust ah, ah, ah. I'm getting all these ideas I'm gonna end up with about 30 sets of towels mama G's gonna go mad you know what I really want as well and again, you're probably thinking, sure, you're like way planning in advance. But you've got to think of it, my lovelies. If you want something, you've got to think of it. I would love to have like almost an open door pantry where like you have all your towels, your bedding, everything like that. Am I going to get that? Who knows? Fingers crossed. If everything goes well, you plan it right, you can get what you work for. I mean, that's what I'm working for, a home and a holiday. Plenty of travelling. <laughs> But yes, a light grey and a dark grey. So these could just be like an everyday towel, you know, just like uh, your ones that you just want to check out. Like, oh, have you got you got a spare towel? Oh, yeah, grab the grey ones. But I will be like sticking with themes. I will be sticking with colours. And I do want to try and get some patterned ones. Mama G got some the other day from Tesco. And they're like white and grey diamond print ones. They looked really nice. But then I thought I would want the reverse. So maybe like... A gray and white or say a black and white and they didn't have it so i thought hmm, not just quite yet but that could be another possibility so this is what i've got so far my lovelies but as i say i did do an inventory of the list of bits that i still need so right at the top of that was a luxury white and bath towel set but with that i wanted the hand towel the bath towel and also a bath sheet i also had on my list a pedal bin or a toilet bin the toilet brush holder the toilet roll holder and then a hand wash soap dish and toothbrush holder set but as i say those are bits unless i see a style that i really like which i have seen a style in next on um, the harper range but that's expensive that's pricey and it's like chrome so it's going to be a lot of cleaning so i've kept that to maybe one side because i think i might go for maybe like a marble theme not entirely sure but yes i've got those that i need bath mat and like a nice little bath mat and pedestal set need to get a few of them because again they will be getting changed throughout the seasons um, a nice toilet seat cover now stuff like that i don't think you can get until you're in because obviously like toilet seats are different sizes and everything like that so i haven't got that yet uh what else did i need i think some like jars because i want like a big big jar for my bath bombs because i would love but i don't think it's going to happen if we had a sink and then you know when it's like the drawer under the sink but they are so deep i would ideally love that for my bath bombs but if not like a nice big jar almost like your pasta spaghetti those types of jars but like nice ones for the bathroom and then what else there was a few other things oh like a over the door hook thing to put all my dressing gowns and matching dressing gowns i do want them when we move in so you know just like a his and hers but I think after that, the bathroom will be pretty much done. There's not too much, in essence, that you can buy for a bathroom. Maybe some little canvases or wall art, actually. As I say, and that's what gives me the nautical vibe, like in the range. I love seeing all of the canvases for the bathroom. But I don't think they are meant for a bathroom. But I'll be putting a few prints in there, I think. Just like little ones I've got for the kitchen that say, be kind to the cook, um what's it coffee first and bon appetit like i would i think i've seen them now where have i seen them 
it might have been Asda or it could have been Ikea. Not entirely sure, but they had ones like relax, soak in and like unwind, something like that. Those could be quite nice. But as I say, for now, this is what I've got. And I don't think I've done a too bad job on this, I think. So my lovelies, that is the first little segment, shall we say, of the moving out vlogs. And as I say, if you did enjoy this video, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment, however, of if there's anything else you think I need. If I haven't got it or I haven't mentioned it in my to get poll, please leave it down below and help your lady out here because as I say I just sometimes get sidetracked and pick up maybe a lot more accessories than what I need and I don't remember the actual fundamental things that I need but yes I think I haven't done too bad what's your favorite bit of it do you like me towel colors oh towel colors towel colors for seasons help me out there what do you think I should go for I think I've got spring summer covered what should I go for the autumn and winter or should I do autumn so that could be September. Should I do a Halloween set for October? A winter set for November? And then a Christmas set for December? What do you think? Actually, what I would like to know, what would you say is a reasonable amount of towel sets to have? Do you think it's just a couple? Do you think it's four or five? Or do you think it's 20? Let me know down below, as I say, because this is all new to me. I still don't have the home. I'm literally just buying stuff that I think that I would need that I would use here, for example. But yes, so this is like easing you in gently with this video, my lovelies, because the kitchen ones, yeah, that's when it's going to go off, let's just say, because the kitchen is huge. That's going to be a two-parter because we've got, Pretty much everything except the oven and the electricals, to be perfectly honest. Home decor is a huge bag as well. Outdoor living. I've got quite a lot of stuff for outdoor living. Like all my outdoor dinnerware sets, stuff for the barbecues. All I would actually need is the garden furniture and the barbecue. So that's a good one to look forward to. And then, yeah, there's quite a lot of cleaning supplies. <laughs> if you saw that, you would have seen that huge bag. That's full of sponges, cleaning bits, little bits, everything apart from the cleaning chemicals because, oh my God, can you imagine when I move out, like that first shop to b and Home Bargains, Powerland, when I can get my own cleaning supplies. Ah! Oh my God, I can't wait. Right, I need to now go and pack this and start to tidy the hall gradually by gradually as i say and then start filming the rest because there's a lot to get through and mama g is slowly losing the will to live she wants her hallway back which i'm not moaning at because even i'm getting very frustrated with it and i'm filming this the week of her birthday is coming up so it needs to be done before her birthday because we can't have it like this no, nope, we can't. But anyway, look at this. I'm rambling as always. And say any suggestions or tips that you think I need, please leave them down below. They're much appreciated. Take care. Stay safe as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.